Hi guys, I'm Gergely, and I'm very excited to show you the new features of Viscom. So let's jump in. If you logged in in the application, uh, you can see our files here as drafts. And also, you can now create workspaces where you can invite teammates to collaborate on projects. Uh, so let's open this workspace, and I'm going to create a new file. Through these workspaces, you will be able to access the extended functions of the app such as generating four number of images instead of one and stuff like that. As you can see, I'm in the redesigned Viscom Studio now. And I'm going to quickly sketch a Nike running shoe type of sneaker. And here at the right toolbar in the prompting section, I'm just going to say uh, Nike uh, sneaker design concept. I want it to be as a running shoe and also special foam. Special foam, yep. And under the mode, I um, I select the render mode because this is the suitable mode for rendering the line drawings what I have. Uh, I leave the drawing influence at max and I want to receive four images and I hit generate. Yeah, and now I'm, I received my four images for renderings of this Nike shoe design. These are awesome. And you can see, um, uh, and these are actually previews that you can browse through and you can select your favorite one or your favorite ones by these little purple check marks. Uh, by clicking uh, the result ones, you select them and you can click, uh, click them on another time to deselect them as well. Uh, I'm going to go forward with this red and uh, oh, blue one, let's say it's a bit blurry. But I, oh, okay, I like these three, so I'm going to confirm these. Uh, what it does, what it does, is it gives you layers. It gives you these confirmed results as layers, so you can develop these three. I'm gonna go with the red one. So right now I'm thinking about I want to change the sole part, but the rest of the shoe um, is pretty fine, so I don't want to change that. And now this new in-painting tool, which you can find here at the top toolbar, or you can hit G on the keyboard, is perfectly suitable for that. Because this tool allows you to create the path around the specific detail on your design that you want to change. And you have to, you can focus on that specific area and you can separate it from the rest of the design and just ideate on that part. So that's what I'm going to do. And it's recommended to uh, hit the refine slash iterate mode this time. I drop down the drawing influence around 30% or so. And I'm going to hit generate with four images. And now I'm going to get only ideas around my midsole of the sneaker. While the rest of the shoe still remains the same. Just like that. I can decrease the drawing influence even more to get some more diversity. Okay, I select these. Oops, I selected them all. Uh, if you accidentally like delete a layer or a result, or you forget to confirm a result, or you cancel a generation, no problem with that, because because you can access this history tab where you can find all of your previous renderings that you did. Let's say these were the first one when I uh, when I had this original sketch and these were the renderings out of it. I can go back. Uh, this was the previous rendering. Let's say I, I want this variation so I can add it to canvas or I can export it right away. This way no results will be lost. Okay, let's play around with this sole a little more. Uh, I'm going to mix the in-painting tool and the drawing brush by... I'm creating a new layer by hitting N. And I selected this black color and I just give a bit of separation in the sole area. I hit the in-painting tool with the previous mask. 
and if I hit uh, if I hit generate this way with a higher drawing influence then I'm able to mix the drawing side and the in-painting side. So, so I can really focus on an area and I can control what is happening in that area. Okay, one last addition which I'm going to do is I pick the color from this part of the shoe, I hit a new layer and I create this little element. I'm going to apply the in-painting mask on this. Okay, only just this area. I can be very specific with, uh, with this in-painting mask. Okay, I just want one image, generate, and likely it will implement it nicely in the design. Okay, it implemented it nicely, so I'm going to confirm that. And I'm pretty much ready and satisfied with my shoe design. So these were the new interesting features of Viscom. Um, feel free to try it out, and i see you in the next one.